Singapore's transport minister S. Ishwaran facing corruption charges has resigned from the ruling People's Action Party and as a member of parliament on 18th of January. Arrested back in July last year as a part of the Corruption Practice Investigation Bureau probe, Ishwaran has rejected the charges already. In his resignation letters to PM Lee, he stated he had returned the salaries and allowances during the investigation. PM Lee emphasized the need for rigorous handling of such matters to uphold the party and government handling. Acting Transport Minister Che Hung Tat will now replace Ishwaran and Grace Fu will assume his trade relations portfolio. Ishwaran resignations come in the wake of an ongoing investigation into the allegations of corruption by the CPIB. He asserted his intention to focus on clearing his name and deemed his resignation necessary in the light of the circumstances. In a separate letter to PM Lee, he also stated his intention to return all his salaries and member of parliament allowances received during the start of the CPIB investigation back in July last year. He emphasized the ethical responsibility to forego benefits while unable to fulfill ministerial and parliamentary duties. PM Lee has also expressed disappointment on Ishwaran's departure, acknowledging the necessity of handling such matters rigorously and upholding party and government integrity. The acting transport minister Che Hung Tat has now been appointed at Ishwaran's department, effective immediately and will now serve as the second minister of finance. The Minister of Sustainability and Environment, Grace Fu, is assuming Ishwaran's role as the minister in charge for trade relations too. Ishwaran, who had held the position of Transport Minister since 2021, has had political career spanning of 26 years and has been elected back in 1997 as a member of parliament. His resignation amid the legal challenges underscores the significance of maintaining ethical standard within the government and the People's Action Party. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.